Mr. Anderson family. I'm Peter, my wife Leslie. I'm Eleanor and I'm five. And I'm Josiah and I'm 10. We make educational videos about family friendly places to travel. Behind us, we've got our brand new camper and it has a little more space than our last one. We want to show you through. Our family of four has been living in a travel trailer for the past few months as we travel to see all 50 states. And we had a 17 foot Viking travel trailer. We recently upgraded to this. This is a Winnebago Mini 2455 BHS. It's 28 feet, just under 28 feet. And um, we pull it with our Ford F-250. So far it's performed really well. We've had it for a couple of months and I thought I'd just show you around, show you the layout, and then also show you some of the organizational things that we've done to make it our space. So this is the entryway. We started by adding the command hooks for our coat rack. We have all of our coats, hats, and jackets here. This is the TV console that also acts as a divider between our living space and the master bedroom space. There are these accordion, I guess you'd call them shades, that separate the two rooms, but they work really nicely and they're on both sides of the bedroom area. Inside this cabinet we have bug spray and lotion, then over here we have our CD DVD player which is really nice, it also is our radio, TV, and then under here we house all of our school supplies for homeschooling on the road, and then we also have down at the bottom some containers that we stashed our electronics and camera gear. This is our master bedroom. There were a few reasons why we wanted to upgrade from the 17 foot to this model and this space was one of them so that we had a separate space aside from the living area that we could be at night away from the kids. Um, some of the other reasons we wanted to upgrade was so that they could have bigger bunks. They now have double bunk bed sizes and so that we could have a slide out and a larger kitchen area and also a sink in the bathroom. Those may sound like little things but when you're living on the road for extended periods of time they really make a big difference in your comfort. So this is the master. We love it. It's a queen size bed. We added a three inch memory foam topper to make it comfortable. Up here we have large cabinets where we store all of our um, clothes with the exception of our hanging clothes and those are here in this cabinet. My brother-in-law David is an awesome architect and he actually built this bookcase for me out of Hickory. Um, I gave him a picture of sort of a wall mounted book rack and he designed this. It's large enough for the kids iPads for a lot of our school books and readers, um, magazines, our Bible, a lot of the books that I had just in a cubby in our wardrobe now get to be up here and it doesn't take up hardly any space and the bed still can lift up and fold down with no problem. This is our kitchen space and also our living room space. The dinette booth is a u-shaped dinette it has tons of room for all of us to sit and do school and have meals which we love we also can have guests over and six can fit fairly comfortably um, especially when two of them are kids around the table also all of those lift up and there's a lot of storage underneath the booth and the table can either come completely out or go down and that makes it into a couch or lounge or bed space this is our kitchen so we have a simple trash can a sink, which is a double sink. It works great. I have this bucket here that we can use when we don't have hookups or we're trying to conserve water so that we don't have to have the water go down into our gray tanks. And that works awesome. There's also a cover that I store underneath the oven. In addition to that, I have a drying mat. And if I want to remove that, I have lots of space for groceries or just whatever you might need for prep space. I added a cutting board to the top of the oven, which had a cover on it. But this I can cut on and I just put some non-slip grip pads on the bottom of it so that it sets here. It's heavy enough that we can travel and it doesn't really shift around that much. And then it also works as a great prep space for food. We have a basket where we keep our fruit. I added some command hook containers up here to hold spices and our oils. This unit has four drawers down the side where we have our silverware and our pots and pans that collapse. It also has an oven, which I was really excited about because I love to bake. And so in there I have a pizza stone, which helps um, the heat distribute evenly. And while it's not large, we found we can cook quite a bit with it. This stove is a three burner stove. Underneath the sink is some more storage. And under there I have my instant pot, pots and pans, and um, towels and that kind of thing. When we are parked, we can push our slide all the way out and it gives us all of this open floor space. But when we're ready to travel, we'll bring the slide all the way in. We'll move this trash can into the bathroom so it's secure. And then we can either walk around the dinette to get into the kitchen or we can open it up just a foot and we can walk right here in between these two spaces for access to the kitchen and the back bunks when we're traveling. So a little bit further back in our unit, we have our refrigerator and freezer. This has a good amount of space so that we can hold 
freezer items, and then our refrigerator. And we just added some spring curtain rods to keep the food um, secure while we're driving down the road. Otherwise, when you open it, it tends to spill. But we haven't had any problems with it, and we love having the extra space. The kids' bunks are back here. Hi, guys. Th so this is my bunk. I've been collecting Beanie Boos, and now I have 22. I sleep in here, and there's more Beanie Boos up there. My grandma gave me this mermaid picture. I keep my flashlights right here. I keep my books over there because Mama put a little bookshelf over there for all my number one readers so I can read them at night. I like to look out the window and see new things because hey, it's fun to explore. So this is my drawers. I keep everything in here. So this is where I keep all my Barbies. And this is where I keep all my other junk. Now my brother will show you his bunk. Hey guys, welcome to my bunk. This bunk is great because I have a window now. I don't have to open the door to see out. This is my toy bin basically. Over here I have my book area. I have all my books that are ready to read here. My favorite thing about my bunk would be that I have so much more space. Our old camper had a single twin size bunk and these ones have double that size so it's really nice to have so much space. So I can just lay in here and it's basically like my own room. On this side is the pantry space that the unit came with. We converted this into a wardrobe for the kids and a pantry. So we have three shelves that are food storage and then one shelf at the bottom. My husband added a dowel rod and so that all the kids clothes could hang up in here with the exception of their folding clothes and undergarments and those are right under here in this unit also. Behind the drawers where we have the extra kids clothes is an entire huge space where we have tubs for their extra toys that we've brought along. And finally we have got the bathroom in the back. It has a nice size shower, your toilet, and then a sink which is a wonderful upgrade for us. It has a cabinet above the sink and a cabinet below. And what we've done is just added some bags where we have all of our bathroom items and we put all of that inside the bag so that when we're ready we can just pull them out and nothing spills out of the cabinets. We have a mirror that we added to the back of the bathroom door, mostly for my daughter. We also have some um, bathroom organizers that we put in here, one for toothbrushes and toothpaste, the other one just for some items that we use every day. And then I keep the soap right behind the faucet. It's, it tends to stay there really well. And then also we added more command hooks because that helps with hanging towels. Over here we have our microfiber quick dry towels on the wall. And then inside the shower we upgraded to an Oxygenix shower head, which has been awesome. It conserves water and allows for more water pressure when you're taking a shower. And then we also put in a retractable clothesline so that we could hang wet clothes, especially swimming suits, um, and they can just drip dry over the shower and we can turn the fan on up above and open the skylight for some more air. When we're driving down the road I put all of our shower items, shampoo, lotions into a command hook shelf that I added underneath the faucet in the shower and then we also have our laundry basket in the shower and so that holds all of our dirty clothes when we're driving down the road. Hope you enjoyed this video, bye! We make family-friendly videos about kid-friendly places to travel. I know, that's too much friendly. I know, it's a lot of friendly. <laughs> you just have to say we're really friendly. We're super friendly. <laughs> I know we're good. All right. And